everyone, it's Brie from Red Arrow Industries, and today I'm going to show you how to use Avid Marquee's auto titler function to create lower thirds in Avid Media Composer. If you frequently work on shows with a lot of lower thirds, slates, or even subtitles, you know how tedious it is to create each one individually. Using the Marquee's auto titler function, you can cut down the amount of time it takes to create multiple titles that follow the same template. By feeding a plain text document into Marquee, the auto titler can take that document's information, creating all your titles to match the template you've created with just a few clicks of your mouse. So here's a quick example of how to use the auto titler. Feel free to build any title you wish. Marquee even offers some pre-built templates, but for today's example, I'm just going to be using basic text, nothing fancy. It's always a good idea to turn on your safe title grid to ensure that you're creating legal and readable titles. Like most lower thirds, I'll be placing the person's name on the first line and the person's job title on the second line. It's important that these are in separate text boxes. Each text box we create in our template corresponds to its own text layer in the Layers window. Since they are both labeled text box, you can easily see which layer belongs to which text box by simply clicking on either the layer below or the text container. Numbering our layers helps us to keep them straight but it's also important for the auto titler to function properly. Each text box must retain the same text box name followed by sequential numbers starting with one. These numbers will tell the auto titler feature where to place the information found in our text file into the template we created. So for name, we will add a one naming the layer text box one. Then we will do the same for our job title, naming it text box two. For safety, I will expand each text container the length of the safe title area to avoid word wrapping on longer titles. For titles that need to fit into a certain parameter, it's always best to create your template with the longest names or jobs so you know all your possible titles will be created without issues. Now that our template is ready to go, open any text editor that you have available. On the first line, we will put the person's name hit enter and type their job description. By hitting enter, you're doing the same as creating two text boxes in Marquee. The auto titler will read those lines as separate information, line one being registered by the software as text box one and line two as text box two. Now I bet your next question is, how does the software understand when to create the next card? Simple, by hitting enter twice this time, leaving a whole line empty, lacking all information, the software knows to move on to the next card. And I'll go ahead and finish the rest of my document. I'm just going to do a few examples here, not too many. Going to name and save my document. It's important to note the text file needs to be saved as a plain text file to work successfully. Let's load our text document into Marquee. Go to File, Auto Titler, and point to your text file and hit Open. Specify a starting number for your titles and hit OK. Within a few seconds, all the possible titles will be created from every piece of information that was given. These come in at full HD quality, so I'll have to scroll to examine my titles. I can navigate to each one via the window menu. Once I've examined them and I'm satisfied, I'll go ahead and save my titles. To save my titles, I'll go to File, Save All to Bin. An additional dialog box will appear within Avid Media Composer prompting for a name of the original title template. I'm just going to name it template. Sit back while each title renders out. Depending on how many titles and how detailed or animated they are, this will be instant or take just a few seconds. But with a few clicks of your mouse, you are able to create a whole list of titles and save you a tremendous amount of time. This is perfect for episodic shows where the look of your titles won't change episode to episode. At the beginning of the season, create your template, and each episode, insert a plain text file. If production provides you with a document, that's even better. Take production's name key document, make a few tweaks, and let Auto Tyler take care of the rest. That's all for today. Feel free to comment below, like and subscribe, and head over to our Facebook page at Red Arrow Industries or online at redarrowindustries.com. Bye!